Hey, hockey fans, welcome on into another episode of Winning Bets. It's our Tuesday episode here where we bring in the hockey squirrel each and every single Tuesday and Thursday, and he gives us some hockey winners. You guys remember last week he gave us three. We went 3-0. and oh. We're 4-1 and one overall tail on the hockey squirrel. He's our guy. How's it going there, hockey squirrel? <laughs> Hey, man. Uh, not too bad. Yesterday, uh, I saw your morning episode, and it looks like you uh, took an ass beating. You said, I kind of did the same yesterday. I went two and three, so it wasn't the worst in the world. But, um, man, in the same day, my team started out two and oh, blew that lead, and lost the game. Uh, I had another game two and oh, started out, blew that, lost the lead. And then Vegas, late night, three and oh, started out the game, and blew that, and lost three to five. So, uh you talk about bad beats three in one day i got i got a little bit of an ass whooping myself not not too bad at two and three but man that just was like it feels so bad when that happens yeah especially when they get out to sub you know size leads like that you think you've got the money and then they just snatch it right <laughs> away from you that's, that's painful right there absolutely oh yeah man well the people here on winning bets they're eager to get they're eager to get another pick pick from you like i said we went three and oh last week so let's just jump yeah. on into it what do you got for us today yeah, man, it was a it was a difficult day today with uh, just what I think is a lot of conflicting information uh, based on, you know, my model will like something and then I kind of go and look at the rosters or I go out and kind of seek other opinions as the day goes on, see where the money is going uh, between the tickets and, and the money distribution or the amount of dollars on on certain bets and uh, man, you know, certain things like even here, you would look at the Washington Capitals and you see like, man, upper 50 percent. But, uh, you know, these projections up here are in the last 10 games overall. The projections down here are the away versus home uh, last 10 games. So it would be the Win Winnipeg Jets in the last 10 games on the road versus the Capitals results in the last 10 games at home. So you can see really almost a or basically a 10 percent difference where it makes it much more 50 50 road versus home or last 10 games um you know just straight up which i mean it just it's a lot of back and forth conflicting information a lot of the money and projections and stuff from other people around the jets here today and when you look at the rosters uh last week i think i don't know if i gave it out here didn't we have a bet on winnipeg or, or there was something to do with winnipeg um last week but yeah, we that I was think... the winnipeg jets over the red wings and we cashed with the jets okay gotcha and and nicolaj ehlers was out in that game uh there were some like injuries and um kind of some pieces missing and this week uh now we get nicolaj ehlers back who has been one of the top goal scorers on this team skating now with mark shifley so uh that's a, a big piece to get back for goals anyway uh or consistent production which is what we're going to want today as i started looking at the over in this game because i couldn't really pick a side uh i know the capitals are good at home but having these guys back in the lineup uh really the the biggest thing to note here is still missing blake wheeler who is typically your top right winger which is where ehlers is uh playing today and he's like six five very physical player uh so that's all you're missing in this side anyway which really should be uh you know good for the goal scoring at least of uh having you know especially those two top lines being very scary and taking a look at the capitals they've kind of been in and out with injuries there have been some guys that come in and, and immediately go back out like tj oshi who it looks like we're missing again today here um john carlson on covid protocols and anthony mantha who we've been missing so uh, the Capitals seem to have been struggling just a little bit lately, but um, again, to have guys like Alex Ovechkin who have been on absolute tears this year, um, you know, trying to pass Gretzky eventually and in, in most goals uh, scored and Kuznetsov still um, producing with Ovechkin there. I'm looking at the over, as I said before, and it came out at five and a half. It is now at six but with a very high projection of almost 60% to go over five and a half. If the worst thing we do is push here at six at minus 105 or minus 110 for juice, uh, you know, I'm okay with taking the risk to try to get seven goals. Uh, if we get a push, well, no harm done, but uh, I really wouldn't want to take an under, I don't think with that many, uh, good goal scorers here in in uh, both sides. And I think you get Vitek Vanacek as the goaltender as well, uh, which is, I do believe, the backup for 
the Capitals now uh, after Samsonov. So, um, and and it gets even better because there aren't confirmed goaltenders yet. If Halibut takes a night off, then you really are looking good uh, with Eric Comrie. So that's just going to be my only free pick that I have to give today that I feel confident in enough because of the conflicting information. So, um, you know, there's just a lot of kind of back and forth games tonight. Nothing that I really want to reach on. I know you said uh, you'd be reaching for NBA today. That's kind of how I feel with this is to not overbet it. Yeah, and sometimes the smart play is to stay away, right? A, a stay away is better yeah. than a loss. Oh, yeah, man. Save save a unit and uh, live for another yeah. day on, on something. So. All right, so we're rolling with Jets, Capitals over 6 at minus 110 over at DraftKings right now. Hey, I don't know anything about hockey, but I do know that name, Alex Ovechkin. That man scores goals. Yeah. So let's hope he can uh, do that for us tonight. I do know that guy. <laughs> yeah, definitely, man. Yeah, those, those top two lines on both on both sides are pretty potent and uh you know hopefully hopefully we can get some penalties too maybe get some some good power play goals where uh alex ovechkin always sets up for that one timer and stuff so uh should be should be a good game though and and obviously you've mentioned here a couple times a 3-3 game going into the extra period um you know it's obviously a guaranteed win so yeah right absolutely yep because there has to be a um yeah, there has to be a goal decided at least for overtime. So whether they score in overtime or shoot out, it awards one goal to that team that that wins that uh, overtime. So, yep, guaranteed on uh, on an overtime three three. So, all right, good stuff, hockey squirrel. Again, everybody at winning bet says thank you for another winner. As that's all you did for us last week. Look forward to catching this one, and we'll see you back here on Thursday giving us some more winners. Sounds good. Yeah, hopefully you have some uh, some better information and less conflicting games on Thursday. So. All right, enjoy the game tonight. We'll see you then. Yep, see you later, man. Bye. Thanks for watching till the end. I'm Jason Mattis. Any love you can show by giving me a like, a subscription, or a comment, or even just share this video is very much appreciated. And don't forget to turn on your notifications to increase your chances of locking in the same odds as I talked about today. And check out my other great videos in these corners.